Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's your girl Aislinn, back at it again with another video. So as you can see by today's title, we are going to be doing this eye look right here. I don't know what I'm going to call this. I don't know anything about it, but either way, I figured I would film a video for you guys because I was sitting here doing nothing. And it's not super late, so why not? So. I'm not going to babble on, um, I'm just going to get right into it. So if you guys want to see how I got this eye look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so we are going to be starting with the eyes. Because my base is already done, I'm just taking some translucent powder and packing it under there to catch any fallout that might happen. And we're going to be going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to start off with the shade Silk Cream as my transition shade. Working back and forth in windshield wiper motions on a fluffy blending brush. This is one of the luxy ones, but you can use any fluffy br blending brush. It doesn't matter. So just work in windshield wiper motions and little circle donuts. This part I didn't show, but I'm using the shade Twerk from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I didn't show the color because I'm going in with a different blue in a second anyways. But using the same brush, I'm just working it on the outer third of the eye and then blending it. Um, back and forth to the front. Then I'm going to be going in with the Sephora Editorial Pro Palette and the shade Chris. Don't know why it's called that, but <laughs> using the same brush, I'm just intensifying that to make it a little bit more blue than it is purple. And from outer corner to inner corner again, focusing most of the pigment on the outer corner. Then just taking a smaller brush, I'm just packing on a little bit more pigment to make it a little bit more of an intense color. Then I'm going with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer just to cut the crease and I'm using a flat angled brush for this. This is the same brush that I used to carve out my brows. Works really well for this step. Next you're going to notice I'm kind of wiggling the brush back and forth to try to blend the blue with the concealer just so it's a little bit of a less harsh edge. Then I'm just going back in with the blending brush that I used prior with no additional product just to kind of blend the shades together a little bit more. Next I'm going in with the shade Cream School from the Jaclyn Hill palette and just packing that all over the lid. Now originally I wanted to just do like a yellow and blue kind of look but when I was blending them together I don't know why color theory didn't pop into my head. Blue and yellow make green. I didn't want that. So you'll see me go in with another shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to use the shade Hunts to blend them together. Um, my blue kind of turned a little bit more to a purple because of the fact that it's a really deep orange that I'm going to use. Um, you can see right here I'm just like mm, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> so then I go in with the orange and it starts to look much better of a blend but kind of takes away the blue so once again because it's red and blue it's going to make more of a purple but I still like how it turned out. And then I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> it's nice. So next I'm just taking a little bit of a white shade um, from the palette and just blending it on my inner corner. It's super easy. Um, turned out really good. Lots of fallout though, so I'm just going to wipe it all away. Oh, the white that I used was from the Pro Palette. It's just the porcelain shade. So next I'm taking my Clinique eyeliner and I am just doing a wing. I decided to leave this in for you guys and not speed it up like too, too much. Just so you could see the entire process of my wing application because I don't usually put it in here because... I always mess it up on camera, but turned out pretty decent this day, so. Oh, girl, that's a wing, that's a wing. So now I'm just repeating the exact same steps that I did on the top with the same colors in a row. So starting off with Cream School, then going to Hunts, then going back over to Chris, just making it like a little tri-colored. Then I'm going in with my Sasha Lashes from Huda Beauty and some Duo Glue. And I decided to leave this part in um, just to show you kind of how I apply my lashes because a lot of people ask me. Now you're just going to wait about, I don't know, a minute and a half. And while I wait, I'm just throwing on that white shade in the inner corner if only lashes actually dried that fast. <laughs> The best tip I can get is wait the time allotted for the lash glue to get tacky so that they stick on and make sure that you cut them to the right size of your eye. But other than that, super easy. It's quicker than doing mascara and it makes the biggest difference ever. Real up close and personal. So 
so they're not going to be completely dry so i would wait until you do mascara so i'm going to do my lip and i'm using the ysl lip liner in the shade 13 once again thanks halima for recommending this my fave lip liner <laughs> other than 3c but makeup forever you already know then i'm just going to take a buxom lip product i'm not exactly sure what this is called but i'll link it down below and i'm just applying a little bit with my finger because i didn't want the color to be too intense because my eyes are a little bit crazy but yeah so after you're done this your lashes should be pretty much dry with the glue so i'm just taking a little bit of mascara now usually i recommend doing this um, before the lashes but my lashes are pretty long so it doesn't work and that's the difference mascara is definitely important to blend the lash and obviously i got some on my face so i'm just going to take a minute let it dry and then i'm just going to take a q-tip and it just wipes right away honestly never do it when it's wet it will smudge wait for it to dry it comes off so easy that's that okay guys so that completes this eye tutorial i had no idea what i was doing when i started this um i had a vibe that i kind of wanted to do like blue and yellow but like as you can see throughout the video like the blue and yellow just didn't blend nicely together so i had to add something else in there and i actually think it turned out really 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 nice um let me know what you guys think i feel like it's pretty achievable um as long as you have really good brushes and patience patience is key when it comes to blending especially with blues um blues are very difficult to blend i'm washing it off because i'm not going anywhere oh and as you guys can see my hair is lighter i just got it done today shout out to my hairstylist liz you the real og but yeah anyways um i said that i was gonna try to film more for you guys so this is me trying to film more <laughs> so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and also click the little notification bell so that you get a notification every time my video pops up on your screen so you can see more of me duh thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one